Divine Nutrition Products believes in supplying the consumer with the highest quality products available. Their natural isolate line of protein is comprised of whey protein isolate made from grass-fed protein. Featuring brand new flavors like vanilla peanut butter and pound cake. Divine Nutrition Products is the preferred supplement of rising IFBB Pro Figure Champion Sydney Gillen, winner of the 2016 Miami Beach Muscle Pro. Hi, this is Sydney Gillen, IFBB Figure Pro Champion. I love, love, love Divine Nutrition products, especially the pound cake as soon as I get that one, but my favorite right now is vanilla peanut butter. It's so delicious. Visit us at DivineNutritionProducts.com. All right, welcome everybody to another episode of the Florida Physique Report. My name is John Hansen. We are broadcasting live from the Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa, Florida. We are now on episode number 59. Today is April 27th, 2016. And on today's show, we have results of two of the competitions that took place last weekend. We've got the Monster Classic, which took place in Lake City, Florida. I was there. We have the full photo report up right now on floridaphysique.com along with interviews with all the winners. We got about, I think, eight or nine interviews up from uh, the Monster Classic, so check that out on floridaphysique.com. And we've also got the results of the MPC Diamond Classic, which took place last weekend in Boca Raton, Florida. Unfortunately, we don't have any pictures from that event, but I do have the results thanks to Maria Bolando, who sent me the full results from the show. So I think they had about uh, 68 competitors in that contest, pretty big contest. So we'll give you the results of that in a minute. Uh, this weekend, we've got the NPC IFBB Europa Show of Champions, which takes place at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida. Betty and Ed Pariso are the promoters. Always, always a big event. They have a huge expo, one of the bigger events of the year out here in uh, the Florida area. The MPC portion is a national qualifier, so it should be a huge contest. It takes place on April 29th and 30th, so it's Friday and Saturday. I believe the pre-judging and the finals for the MPC portion takes place at 9.30 a.m. on Friday and Saturday, and then the pros will take place at about 2.30 in the afternoon. So I will be there out on Friday to check out the pre-judging. I'll be out of town on Saturday, but we've got some of our correspondents. Michael Matassa should be out there taking pictures, and uh, Amy DiGiovine will be uh, hopefully doing some interviews for us out there. So we should have some full coverage here on FloridaPhysique.com of the MPC IFBB Europa Show of Champions. And speaking of the Europa, we've got a couple people right here at Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa who are preparing for that contest. Uh, the first one is Tina Bozeman, who is an IFBB Pro figure competitor. Tina hasn't competed in two years, and she is in fantastic shape. So we just did a video with her. It's available right now on FloridaPhysique.com, so check that out. With her coach, Trey Kidd, from Insane Physiques, did the commentary from the video, uh, explaining all the exercises that Tina was doing. And she, Tina's in fantastic condition, so we wish her the best of luck at the show this weekend. I know it's a big show for her because she hasn't competed in a couple years. 
Also, uh, we've got a total novice competitor competing in the bikini portion. Her name is Fairlight Matthew, and she trains right out here at Powerhouse Gym. She's only been training for a couple years. She just did her first show last weekend in Jacksonville, which was an NGA show, and she won the overall there. And now she's stepping it up and going into the MPC Europa, which is going to be a big step up from the show last week. But I think she's going to do really well. This girl just has it naturally. And you'll see it when you see the training video of uh, Fairlight doing her back and biceps training that we just shot here at the FloridaPhysique.com. So uh, I'm going to wish both Tina and Fairlight the best of luck this weekend. Check out their training videos on Florida Physique because uh, I think both of these girls are in excellent condition and they got uh, great promise for this weekend. All right, let's go over the results of the MPC Diamond Classic, which took place last weekend in Boca Raton, Florida. As I said, I don't have any pictures of the event, but we do have the results. In the men's bodybuilding, again, another disappointing showing for bodybuilding. Only about five bodybuilders total in the whole contest. But the winner was Renell Charles, and Renell Charles is the son of IFBB pro bodybuilder and pro classic physique competitor, Darum Charles. And uh, if you remember, Rennell was training with Darum many, many years ago when he was still a young, when he was still a teenager. And now he is a full grown man and he's got an incredible physique. He's definitely got the genetics of his father. So I hope he goes on and, and continues to compete. He won the bodybuilding and he also competed in the classic physique, but he did not win that, but he did very well. So rennell has got uh, some great promise. It's really exciting to see some of these uh, bodybuilders with their kids getting into the sport, like Lee Labrada's son, Hunter, and then of course we got Sergio Oliva Jr. So it's gonna be really exciting over the next few years to see some of the legends of bodybuilding as their sons take over their uh, legacy and start competing. In the men's bodybuilding masters division, Carlos Atanasloo, if I'm saying that right, Carlos Atanasloo was the masters bodybuilding overall winner. In the figure open, Leopold Karatkova, who just won the Gold Coast Classic on April 9th, also wins the figure open here. Melissa Collado won the Masters figure over 50, and Beatrice Grumman won the Masters figure over 30, and Brandy Yui won the Masters figure over 30, and then Brandy Yui was the Masters figure overall. Interesting side note is that Brandy Yui beat Leopold Karatkova in the figure over 30, and then Leopold went on to win the figure open. And then Brandy Yui also won the figure novice. So Brandy Yui looking really good in her contest debut, and uh, she's got some promising future. If she beat Leopold, she must be looking pretty good. Zule Vega was the winner in the bikini open. There was 29 total competitors there. Zule won class A. Kristen Helverson won class B. Rosanna Biasi won Class C, and Neslande Joseph won Class D. Martha Somon Vigo was the Bikini Masters winner over 50. Veronica Salman was the Bikini Masters winner over 40. 13 competitors in that division. Zule Vega, our Bikini Open winner, also won the Bikini Open over 35. She beat out 10 competitors. And Tony Feliciano won the Bikini over 30. And then Zule Vega, no surprise, was the Bikini Masters overall winner and also the Bikini Open overall winner. So congratulations to Zule. She's got a very promising future. Zoe Panzerino was the Bikini Novice winner. Uh, she beat out 20 competitors in that division. Clayton Lindsay was the Masters Men's Physique over 40 winner. Justin Woodward was the Masters Men's Physique Open winner. An interesting side note in the uh, Men's Physique Open, Carlton Jackson was the winner in Class C and he beat out Julian Quaglarini. So they must have had some great competition in the, in the Men's Physique Open at the Diamond Classic in order for Julian to be beaten out because Julian is a top competitor. Krypton Frey won the Men's Physique Novice Division. Oksa Oksana Piari won the Women's Physique Open and the Women's Physique Masters. And Oksana just did real well uh, a couple weeks ago in another South Florida show. So she's on a roll. And then in the Classic Physique, Sergey Pelkin came back after his loss last week at the Southeast Classic and he won again. He won the Classic Physique Division and I believe Renell Charles, uh, Darren Charles' son, was second in that class. So that's the results of the MPC Diamond Classic. Thanks again to Maria Bolando for getting us the results.
Hopefully we'll have some pictures of the next event that takes place in South Florida. We didn't get any pictures this time. All right, let's go over the results of the Monster Classic. Tony Curtis was the promoter, and uh, Tony did something different this year with the Monster Classic. He gave out WWE-style belts to the overall winners. So I believe the open figure, open bikini, open men's physique, and open bodybuilding received these championship WWE-style belts as their prize for the overall win. All right, let's go over the results. They had some really good competition, especially in the men's bodybuilding, which I was happy to see. The Masters men's bodybuilding was very competitive. Over 50 division was won by Julio Del Rio, and he beat out Fra Frank Sapienza. And, of course, Frank is a uh, local competitor out here in Florida. He competed in many shows last year. I think he, Frank won, like, three overalls in a row last year. So he took some time off, took the fall off to work on his size. He came back. Frank is a totally natural bodybuilder, and I think he's uh, 53 years old, so he's in fantastic condition. Congratulations to Frank, but Frank ended up in second place this time behind Julio Del Rio, who was a little bit thicker, and Ray Clark was in third place. In the over 40, Alexander Rivera, who had a really great physique, uh, he won the over 40 class. Michael Perez was second. And then in the over 35, Israeli Hernandez, Really, really good physique on Israeli, and also I have to mention a great posing routine. Great job, Israeli, on putting together a really good routine. Had some classical music, never once asked the audience for applause, stayed with his routine the whole time, and he really got a lot of applause at the end. So, congratulations to Israeli Hernandez for putting it together a really great routine. Uh, Mark Leongold was second in that class, and Hercules Collins was third. And then in the overall, no surprise, Israeli Hernandez was the overall winner in the Masters Men's Bodybuilding Overall. Then going into the Bodybuilding Open, the middleweight class again won by Israeli Hernandez. Richard Ordavi was in second place, and Julio Del Rio, the over 50 winner, he was in third place. In the light heavyweight class, Eric Ruiz was the winner. Eric has been working with uh, Eric and Kelly Diffendurfer from Team Freak Physique for many years, and I've seen him compete on the local level quite often. So it was good to see him in great condition this time. He was big, he was full, he was rock hard, really vascular. So he deservedly won. Billy Blackwell was in second, and Billy's got a great physique. Uh, real classic type of physique. Big rib cage, wide shoulders, really good definition in the legs. I've seen him compete at the show in Orlando in March, uh, the one put on by Shannon Day. And uh, Billy did really well in that also. So I think Billy's going to win a first place pretty soon. He just keeps got to keep going. He needs a little bit more thickness, but he's got a great structure and good physique. Chris Coupler was in third place. Chris had a really awesome physique. I think Chris won an overall last year. Another really thick physique, really good legs. But this was a really tough division. Eric Ruiz first, Billy Blackwell second, Chris Coupler in third, and Frank Sapienza was in uh, fourth place. Then in the heavyweight class, Joel Agron was the winner. Joel had some really good leg development also. Uh, Jonathan Van Essen was in second, and Nicholas Ivey was in third place. And then the overall, congratulations to Eric Ruiz. Persistence has paid off. He kept trying, kept trying, and he finally got his first overall win. He was very, very happy. You know, the women's physique in the Masters division, another very competitive division. A lot of competitors in this class. Uh, over 45, Nikki Albright, who Nikki's actually a judge in the Central Florida area, and uh, she practices what she preaches because she looked fantastic on stage, had really good symmetry, wide shoulders, so she won first place in the over 45. And the over 35, Nikki got second to Suzanne O'Shea, who was com competing in her very first show. Um, Suzanne didn't have quite the structure that Nikki had, but she was a little bit harder, so she ended up in first place. And then the overall, Suzanne O'Shea was the Women's Physique Masters overall winner. And the Women's Physique Open, Suzanne O'Shea was the Class A winner, Nikki Albright was the Class B winner, and again, Suzanne O'Shea was the overall winner. All right, moving on to the Classic Physique. Again, some really good competition. They had a lot of good numbers. Justin White beat out Frank Sapienza in Class A by one point. Justin, uh, only 22 years old, young guy, um, really pretty thick physique, had a really thick physique and some good definition. I think this was his second or third show. He beat out Frank by one point with Alexander Rivera in third. And then in Class B, Mark Leningold was the winner over Hercules Collins. 
And the classic physique overall winner went to Justin White. And moving on to the figure division, Connie Chaikin was the over 50 winner. Kelly Lamb, really good physique on her, wide shoulders, uh, good structure, used to compete in women's bodybuilding about nine or ten years ago, took some time off to raise her daughter and now she's back and she looked great. She got first place in, class, in the over 40 division. Jenna Hill in second place uh, and Nikki Albright in third place. Jenna Hill also had a really good physique, really good, great smile on stage, great stage presence. And then Jenna Hill won the over 30 division. But in the figure overall, the Masters figure overall, Kelly Lamb was the overall winner. So congratulations to her. Moving on to the figure open, Sheila Colin was the winner in Class A. Jenna Hill won her second victory of the night, winning first place in Class B. Kelly Lamb beat out Nikki Albright in Class C. And figure overall winner, and then the overall winner in the figure open division went to Kelly Lamb. So congratulations to Kelly, wins the figure open and the figure masters. Moving on to the men's physique, uh, the masters men's physique went to Randall Sullivan. Takes first place in the over 45 division. Randall was really ripped and in great condition. Uh, I believe he's trained by Amy DiGiovine, so congratulations to Randall. And over 35 division went to Anthony Van Dunn. The overall went to the older guy, Randall Sullivan. The over 45 winner won the Masters Men's Physique overall. And then the Men's Physique Open, Randall Sullivan again wins uh, first place in Class A. And in Class B, Michael Tiani takes first place by one point over Jared Hess. Jared was shredded. Uh, Michael was a little bit thicker, so a very close decision for both of them. Michael Tiani wins first place. And then Justin White, the classic physique winner, was in third place. In Class C, Mike Cavanaugh, another disciple of uh, Team Freak Physique with Eric and Kelly Diffenderfer. We shot a vi training video with Mike Cavanaugh about, uh, two or th about two years ago, I believe. So Mike takes first place. Congratulations to him. I know he's been at this a while. He beat out uh, nine other competitors to take first. And then in the overall, Michael Tiani, the Class B winner, was the overall winner. Michael, another 22-year-old competitor, really young guy. Uh, he's going to be competing, I believe, at the Junior USA this year. So we wish him the best of luck. All right, moving on to the bikini division, finally, the Masters bikini. Paula Gorman was the only competitor in the over 50 division. Ahira Diaz competing in her very first show. I believe her husband is a bodybuilder, and he got her into competing. She takes first place in the over 40 beating out Ella Kapool Jenkins. And then the over 30 class, you have Jenica Kapool, who actually is uh, Ella Kapool's sister. Um, I'm not sure if this was her first contest or not, but she looked really good on stage. She takes first place in the over 30 division, but the overall goes to the over 40 winner, Yahira Diaz, competing in her very first show. So congratulations to her. And then finally, the last class of the night, the Bikini Open, Yahira Diaz wins first place in Class A, beating out 10 other competitors. Class B went to Samantha Hall, and Class C went to Jessica Petro. But in the Bikini Open overall goes to Samantha Hall. So I think she just started competing this year. She looks really, really good. She's got a great look on stage. She'll be competing also in the Europa this weekend, so we wish her the best of luck. But it was a great show. They had Brian Yersky as a guest poser. Brian will be competing in the... Uh, New York Pro in four weeks, but he's already in top condition. He's going to really dial it in by the New York Pro because he's already there. And Brian was a nice guy, first time I ever met him. Uh, gave a great routine, so we wish him the best of luck. So that was it. Great show. Thanks to Tony Curtis for having us out there. He did a great job. And we will look forward to seeing everybody this weekend at the Europa Show of Champions that's going to take place again April 29th and 30th this weekend at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida. Uh, we will see everybody there. It's going to be a great show. NPC portion is going to be huge, and the IFBB portion, they're, they're going to have figure, men's physique, and I believe women's physique. So it's going to be a great event. So we will see everybody there. Have a great weekend, everybody. We will see you next week on the Florida Physique Report. Thanks for joining us.